What is up guys, it's your boy Die Hard Rex back at it again with a new video. This time it's a $500 budget bill. This is gonna be known as the Xbox One Scorpio Killer or rather the Xbox One X Killer. This is because Xbox just announced a new Xbox One X which is running which is running games at 4K currently but some have claimed not to run a 4K but anyway let's just get into this. It's going for $500 and I'm deciding to be, be compete against that bill and uh, well let's get into this. The processor is an i3-7100 which is running at 3.9 GHz and it has hyper threading support, 7th gen processor so you don't have to worry about upgradability and that is going for $117. We will be no, we will not be using any third party coolers, we are just going to be using stock cooler. Um, the motherboard is an MSI Pro Series B250M80X motherboard which supports DDR4 and up to 32 gigs. so maybe you want to change your processor and you want to get more RAM, you're covered. This is going for $65.99, it's subject to change. The RAM, the memory is going to be a Corsair value select. I decided to step away from the Crucial because the Crucial didn't have a heatsink. This has somewhat of a heatsink and it looks kind of better and performs better. It's a uh, 8 gig 2133 MHz DDR4 um, memory and it's uh, made for entry level gaming. It's literally what it says in the description. I can't show it to you but you can check it out for yourself. Like again, I said before, prices are subject to change and this is a popular brand Corsair, Corsair so you can trust it. Um, storage, we have a Western Digital Blue 1TB HDD which is even in the Xbox One X. This is 7200 RPM fast reading time. It has large storage means you can keep a lot of programs, games and stuff in there. God knows what you're going to put in there. And it's a popular choice for budget bills. Everyone is like 1TB, 1TB, Western Digital Blue, you know. And this is going for $49.99. This is a good steal, as always. Um, now the GPU, which is a very, 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 like, honestly, like, 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 very, 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 very important. It's a Zotac GeForce GTX 1050 Ti Mini. It's a 4 gig GDDR5 128-bit GPU. It's the cheapest ultra, you know, settings type of GPU. It runs Battlefield 1 at, at you know, ultra, um, 4K and uh, I can guarantee that it's good for small form factor this 1050 Ti Mini so if you have if you want to like sort of get a mini ITX and you don't want to spend on a GPU maybe change the motherboard and the RAM or something like that you're covered because the GPU is is you know it's uh, able to fit into any spots so for the the thing to power it all is the EVGA 500 um, W1 which is the white rating 80 plus PSU which is a re it's from a reliable brand i mean i said this in my last video it it's really popular people love to use this it's cheap and it's it has a lot of you see if you see the power to price conversion ratio it's really good it's a very popular choice and you know in, in like many budget bills and bills in general people tend to choose evj over other brands um it's 500 watts and that means there's space for upgradability guys you can just be free, you know, you can probably change your a, a 1060 when you get a new processor or something. You're covered. You're really covered. The case, I am not going to go, I'm not going to go, you know, free this and get another case. But I decided to trust the Zion Performance case, which is a non-window case. It has a good amount of space, so you can fit like maybe a full 1070 in there. Um, it comes with a backlit fan, which is great. I mean, you save money on lighting and plus you get a free fan and that's amazing. In total, this build is at $497.49. Now that is amazing compared to Xbox One X is $500. In that price, I can get something good in a PC. So just think about it, man. It's like amazing how PC gaming is adapting to change in console gaming. And forever shall PC gaming be the best choice as it's cheaper and everybody has a computer here. Not all of us can say, oh no, we don't have one. So yeah and uh, thanks guys now before I end this video I just want to say thank you very much guys it meant a lot to me that we hit more than 160 views in total on my last video for the budget build and it really means a lot to me and I'm going to continue impressing you guys with my videos and every two weeks expect a new episode of budget builds so I just covered this one now we're left with the $600 um, budget bill and that's when we end this season and we start season 2 
um, and I even wanted to mention about gaming in general I know that this channel is even on gaming but the thing is I'm waiting for my PC to come in and that's when we can start gaming like I'm currently using a crappy Pentium PC to do all this job but it's fine with me and hopefully it's fine with you guys because like I'm literally recording gameplay and putting it out there so yeah hope you guys enjoy this is Die Hard Rex signing out peace